out is waiting for him here with such low health. Oh, that's not going to be ideal. Definitely not the, the start they were looking for, but they do have an awful lot of the players just surrounding Na'Vi. God, B gets a pretty damn good timing, and Obnox has turned this back into a two versus two. Now, the spike position's not great. I, I, I want to wipe that from my brain. Like, I was about to say, like, Aslan just running out like that was mad, but then JD's just whipped hard. Yeah, he's still trying to finish off this fight now because of it. Aslan gets that second chance at life. He's now half HP. No and you can see everybody stalled out. Nobody wants to take that step out. Left. So vulnerable in these pistol rounds. JD making his way around the right. It's being checked, but Obnox can't connect the shot. Aslan eventually gets JD taken down. And with such low HP on both players, it's really going to come down to who sees who first. They go right into it, but the time! Oh, it was forcing him out into these rounds, and Navi are not afraid to pick up the pace. Oh, no. These guys are more than happy to bring it right over to the site right away. Plant going down here. The shock dart's still going to connect, planted. but not for as much damage. Cloud's able to sneak away and get the heal. So big have a retake that they've got to go in for 5v5. The problem is they don't know where any of these players are, right? They're they're coming in here blind, clearing their angles with weaker weapons. And it goes about as expected with the rifles winning out on range very easily. Yeah, and a flawless round at that, as said. Got plenty of time. They have the wall up now to cover them as they move on forward. They can tap that spike, cause some problems. Waiting for the recon to come through. It's got a scan off. That could be dangerous, but they've all tucked away behind the walls. Nice shot, Spike Cloud. And he swings into the off, though, to close things out. I don't know B was lost. He was spinning around, looking for a weapon on the floor. JD above, dancing around, making all the noise. But Obnox can't connect the shot. And with that, the round is over. Twisting, gone to save that operator inside a kitchen. And we have got a third round for Navi. Yeah, definitely a little bit closer than maybe they would have. Small gap in middle. Been left open for just a moment. Plant now secured. Yeah, you know, bigger doing a very good job of just playing for the retakes. Is they don't overextend in these situations and give away kills. In fact, the only person that was really peaking was Twistin' with the all. And he's got the reward for it. late rotate out of Aslan. Catches Dings Jay. This is really good stuff from Big. And they're already on the defusal. Someone needs to try and do something about that. In fact, I think they're just going to stick it all the way. Had the wall up. Nothing that the remaining players could do. Swinging out and... Oh, this could be nasty. God B, if he gets the timing right. Oh! There you oh, okay, go. Okay, he He's did, but... His teammates did it. Oh, this is just getting disgusting from JD, but the trade's back. It's an absolute mess on the A site. And a res coming through, leaving just two players standing. I think that was JD's flash that even... Caught God B and blinded him up. Dunno is down and out of this. So back to just two men standing. Cloud and Dinks having to get this one done inside the Viper's pit. They've committed to this. They want to make it work. Aslan's down already, but it's Dinks that's pushing forward. That's risky. And that's why with him down, Viper's pit falls. But okay. Cancellation of the ult. That's really nice. What the hell, JD? So no Hunter's Fury for you, God B, but JD has gone down. Luckily, they can res him in theory, but no, oh, that could have been nasty. Still, though, a problem emerges. Twisting is around here. Players can peek from up top. Cloud is dealing with them. Another challenger steps up, and this time, he will take Cloud down. Eight to f Oh, the timing for Dunno as he decides to push forward, but it was in combination with JD, and that utility ends up grabbing Aslan. A disgusting start. JD wanting to brawl and while twisting. I, he should have almost closed this round out. Still challenging though, a little bit low on HP. Obviously, he doesn't have a lot to start with and Spike still just player. basically trying to dominate Last the space. Standing. In fact, takes the head clean off of Dinks and while now up to his jet counterpart to try and get something done here. Yeah, well, he's got uh, more than enough players to take down. Not like you're really going to be excited about saving in this scenario. <laughs> you know? Oh, God. <laughs> what a shot, man. Okay. Coming in on the site. Twisting is low, but not low enough that he's one hit. He's going to still take two. Oh, oh my God. 
Oh, Stop him. He can just walk all the way through. And that's exactly what he's going to do. In left. fact, even spotting Jet now in towards their spawn. Good information to play with. Here comes a flash up high. That might prompt Obnox to peek out if he wasn't being wall banged by SSK. And now here he comes! But SSK is ready. Three versus three. Spike oh! still not planted, and the planter goes down! Another kill coming through! And Navi have the lead! Ten seconds left! Coffee's gonna charge forward! He'll find the first! Down to the classic! The player's in the corner! He's not gonna be able to play! But Coffee goes out for the kill and clutches it! Eleven rounds for- Down to head-to-head -head round difference and someone else having to work it out. <laughs> Twisted actually <laughs> is suppressed, so he takes full Spike damage down, there. <laughs> Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. what? What? Okay, that's ridiculous. They've just got three kills off the back of pistols. I was ready to call this a day! <laughs> JD! Oh my god. Well, um, 12 4 is, is what we were. 1v5! Let's go. Yeah, that's not how that round was supposed to go. Gobby has had a nice little clutch in the previous round. Maybe that was the call. He was like, ooh, I kind of like that. That felt good to clutch. Guys, guys can I do it again? <laughs> you all just run forward and die to pistols. The JD just headshot you all. To be coming through. And in fact, their patience pays off. JD gives away the aggression. And in fact, <laughs> I Dinks. don't know how Dings got caught there. Ooh, Twisting okay. just cannot be stopped, man. Yeah, it, he's looking like a different beast when it comes to this attacking side. And that that's a huge problem for Na'Vi. They're already struggling what were, what they were against of Nox. Okay, maybe he's handed over his, uh, <laughs> his the, the individual skill to twist them for the round because had a chance there. Instead, at least bringing things back into, well, I don't want to say a competitive standpoint, but a workable one, especially with the res. And that's just dirty. I, I, I feel gross that you've done that, Goldie. Just, just using your ult to cancel their res. Duno, again, bringing things back, but it's, it's now coming down to the time. He needs to try and kill off these remaining couple of players, and Mitch, they're just waiting. Yep. No need for them to peek at this point. Three now. This attacker's over run A. This is insane. Wow. Well, a lot has happened within the first <laughs> less than a minute of this Three round. Three seconds? <laughs> It's still a lot still to do for the side of Big. Uh, looking like they're going to get the after pump. A cloud it might just be the, the problem. No one's watching. Now that Spike almost luckily actually does go down before he's able to get that kill. So if it had dropped to the floor, that would have been such a, a huge problem for them, avoiding the saying the word Big. But nonetheless, this does give an opportunity now for Na'Vi. Boxing screen down. At least made it back Ooh. onto the site, but look at where Big have made it to. They've wrapped all the way around. Opnox might be a little late to the party here, though. Someone's got to get on that quickly. It's already halfway defused. Aslan quickly in for one. Opnox gets around on the flank and slowed. Well, he certainly puts up a fight. But in the end, one man. Outside A, either way. SSK in for the trade. Yeah, it's outside A, actually. That's that's a great little knife for info. <gasps> JD, oh! nasty man. He's through and he's got two. Back out to look at Hookah. And Dino's here to help him. That's a triple for JD. As I said, this guy could very well be on any duelist, but it's it's not like... It's something something cerebral, right? It's something in his head. This guy, he's just got... I have the spike. You all right? Jay? <laughs> you good? You hey, are you all... <laughs> Did his mouse run out of battery or something? I don't know. He just stared at him. <laughs> That's, he gets three kills, and I'm like, yeah, this guy, this guy is just like the best player ever, man. <laughs> he just stares at a guy. <sighs> from Navi. They have taken all the space away from Big. That's so clever. That's not. <laughs> So clever. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Really no, but having the double up, the double damage coming through onto the Hunter's Fury, just beautiful. Casper, though, has. Okay. He's managed to get a lot further than I think anyone would have expected him to. They left a pretty big gap in their defense there. And, and if he just walked behind, like, I think he would have been spotted, but as a very real danger.
a chance for an after plant as well. Left. It looks like they're just going to stick this one there. It doesn't Spike look like there's currently anybody actually watching the smoke that they had. Instead, though, they're actually going to throw down the Viper's Pit. That's supposed to secure the round here, but so many players that they're up against. And no, it goes down, and so does Stinks. The tables turn so quickly, leaving JD to attempt to clutch and look the reposition from Aslan. It's big brain. I'm looking at the showstopper on Twist in this early fight. Oh, I thought Cloud was going in earlier. And this time he did. Twist and good for the frag. And there's the showstopper popped. Good for the kill. They deep. Twisted is winning these rounds single-handedly. I mean, Navi killed yeah. a, uh, killed Casper, but Twisted single-handedly just ran forward and eliminated everyone on A. Oh, come on! What? Guys! He was in the coins! He's doing it every round now! Yeah, I don't... There we go. Okay. I don't know how this has become interesting. Like, this round was looking over. Twisted... Did more than enough, but ends up getting caught in a maybe no man's land. And SSK might finally be stepping up into the server. They're going to need him to. Information being garnered by God B. And it seems like he has a decent idea of where the second player is as well. The main issue now, though, is the time. They, they've just run out of it. So the, the patience of big is enough. And they're going to go hunting. They want to try and remove this gun from his hands. So let's keep an eye from this round on. Let's <laughs> see if they can do it again. Jesus. Oh! What? <laughs> That is so aggressive! I don't know how that ends up working out, but hey, and now JD's well placed. What? This is a different team. I don't care. They've switched out. Someone has got into the chairs. That uh, they can't go from the last round where it was almost like like chuckle vision, like they're they to me to you hitting each other with wooden planks, and then the next round, they, I don't know. Last couple giving ssk the space like to almost just frag out he has that individual ability we haven't seen it so far today i saw there was a decent trade and okay i feel like half those bullets went into the wall but he still got the kill if it works it works seconds left and question perfection two vandals still up and running and running quite literally, Gobby's on site, he's planting, and inside of that poison orb, Aslan sadly will pass. It is a problem. You got two players inside of Hookah, two players in spawn, Gobby. Nice shock dart, actually. That could do some damage. All right, come on. You, you're an IGL, man. You can't be. You can't have a nice early push coming out of Twist, and he's going to be caught by a number of pieces of utility, and then shot by two different players. That is a. Big blow in the early round, big try to recover from it. And that only leads to Obnox falling early too. And there's the spike on the ground with Gobby falling. This is looking like a done round. Brave attempt by Casp and Aslan, but it all amounts to nothing. Seven to five. You know, Navi have recovered that. It's not like you're going to catch them off guard. It's not like they will have fully rotate today because they know there's someone outside B at this point. And you got 45 seconds to decide. It's going to be a bad situation either way. Especially with this position currently being held. Yeah, but he, knows. he knows that there's someone there. It wins the duel easily. And then you've still got the one remaining couple remaining. of players just holding this one back. Cloud, left. 30 seconds, five players to find. If anything, it, it would just be if he can farm up a couple of orbs. But he gets absolutely nothing. Flawless pistol. For they were being hit by the wall. By the Viper wall, the Cade. So the damage that nade, it, would, it wouldn't even have to do that much. But they just about snuck out in time. Oh, oh, stop! Just stop, please! I've had enough of these rat like players just being player caught with standing. utility in hands. Oh, I'm not. Ah, oh, never mind. Thinks is he's almost done his wipers pit from this. Oh, Aslan. Okay, I like the start to it, but he has not lasted very long, and that's the problem with having tracers inside of your vipers pit. Again, uh, you know by. I go. Do it! Do it! Oh, I knew it was coming! God, he's just too big brain! Oh, he's actually gonna deny the plant. That's nice. And now the oh, peek back out! Another one comes to Twist, and he's just dropping the plant to every single time. And now there's only seconds remaining! He might just have to stick this, trying to beat him off that plant, but he's failed. Cloud, with the balls of steel, just holding it all the way down the swing. Timing's not bad, but the health advantage for Cloud is enough. Just as close as- They still have not moved. Look at it. The player- so, they had a player, they had, right. So, I don't know was exactly where he is, 
Uh, Dinks, he was watching the bath push. Dinks was watching the mid push. Uh, Cloud was watching B long. And the fourth player, the only other angle left, is Hookah. The fourth guy just jumped out Hookah. I mean, maybe I'm misreading the timing there or something. You know, there's obviously something I'm not seeing. But JD, I guess, felt out a bit more space than was actually there. It's kind of wild. This vibe just bit, as you can see, just, just waiting for all of this spam for Cub B. Oh, they were not expecting anybody to be there. And then, fair enough, like a Viper's pit down, like you're not going, you're going to expect the rest of the defenders to rotate. Cub B, though, he's ready for it. Dink's actually in a decent spot. Hit. Don't you dare! Oh, I knew it was coming. I knew it was uh. coming. He's so. Well, his other option was a short or a uh, judge. So, you know, I understand why the classic was out for the ranged fight there. SSK taken down. The judge finds a victim. Casper's back with some classic action to finish JD off, who had been downed earlier. Obviously, the timer running out. Dino's going to do it all. Players everywhere. He's got six HP. And he wins it. Dino's picked him up. A triple kill. And Navi steam back in. Wow, that's actually JD's watching, making sure there's no one on the flank. Twist and hiding within the smoke, but could get caught out here. They're gonna go walking past him. Oh, it's awkward. Oh. He doesn't really have the weaponry for this, but has a chance to try and line them up. Five Two's not bad, eight. especially One with a sheriff remaining. in that position. Last and now standing. having got B into a clutch scenario, it's him facing off against Dinks. They're just gonna both try and take that raw fight. The spike on the other side, so he could or actually or use the poison orb to try and switch or over here. Not. God, B, I'm so terrified of him just going seconds. for some sort of timing shot here, oh. but it will be Diggs just about closing it out. And nine players still stuck in the TP. You'd almost expect them to have less players here on B or even just the one, but here we go. Twiston's coming ah. out, and even while being grabbed well, his knee takes down to know The spike running to the side, they know exactly where Diggs is. The wall banks are good for damage, but not for the kill. And that spike is going to be planted. Thinks J now has the 1v1. This man has clutched again oh, and again. So and it'll be no different this time. The operator saved to the next. And now... ...indicates further in towards the site, but they have left Cloud behind. Obnox using this to re-aggress. Maybe expecting them to rotate, and he will just about win that duel. Able to take down Cloud, but the loss of a lot of HP. This also means that Aslan could buy time. He did, they spotted the rest of the rotation. They know that there's no one on long anymore. And he's just going to try and deny as much as possible. And got B even joining in with a Hunter's Fury. Aslan's done fantastic work. And well, it looks like it's not being closed out just yet, as JD is the only one standing. Yeah, a little bit more fight left in big for sure. And can they bring us all the way to the OTs? Well, if Aslan plays like that, they. Oh, again, Cosmic Divide holding them back, at least for the moment. That uh, same fragment, just world. making sure they can't go any further. And a Viper's Pit of their own, in fact, it's going to be pushed Fight into, planted. though. They're looking to try and fight through this one. It has been denied. You, you brought it forward that they need to try and stop that older, but it might not even matter. Used in the round and down to just Last two. As OT looks inevitable, Cloud, he's been a superstar, but this is a bridge too far. Yeah, that would be a little bit too much to ask. 12 to 12, we go. OT locked in and confirmed, and yeah, I like that. I told you, JD, the second that he hears that, you're you're gone. He is. comes the rest of the team. JD's got Aslan with his name. Aslan was trying to come through spawn, and he got hit. Oh, that's massive. They also know that Twiston's still within the site. Tag low on HP, God be not there to support, and it's going to be a clutch once again. The IGL having to try and not only win this round, but keep them within the map. And he's got a fairly long way to go to make this rotation. Now that Na'Vi taking their time to make sure the site is clear, by the looks of it, he's going to get there with plenty of time to make something work. I think they need to switch their direction to make sure that someone's watching behind. They don't expect behind, though. This guy was previously spotted in spawn and a site before that. Why would he be here? He's wrapped all the way around, One and that's given him this angle to play off of. The 1v1 now comes into play. The recon is perfect. It's going to force JD oh. out, and Gobby takes him down. The clutch is... And uh, it feeds back to the point you were talking about earlier, Tom, saying that you, know, you love Aslan's... Uh, Controller a little bit more yeah, than his soul. SSK is going in for it. 
He's being tagged up, gunned up, and that's 30 kills for Aslan. Dunno wants to get close. He wants to get aggressive. He's giving it away. A bit of a whiff, a bit of a slow reaction from Aslan. Oh, and Dunno's able to take a triple. Unbelievable. Navi are on 14. The recon on long is actually going to catch some information. Left. There you go, there's a player outside. That's good to... Oh, because it pops the smoke for Casper then. He's going to get nice and close. He's going to get underneath, and they're ready for it. Still, One he's alive. Remains. He hasn't killed anybody. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Casper's just like... He's a ghost. Casper the ghost. 14 to 14 we go. Another he's, OT he's on his Kasper way. Casper the friendly ghost. That's Elsewhere and claim it. Okay, so there's a lot... A lot of pings going down. I think that's going to be a trailblazer, and it is. It's revealed a player close. It stunned him up, and this is a tough fight. Oh, they don't even try to play anti-flash, but they, they weren't messing around with that. Saving the flash instead for Jet. SSK stuck inside a hookah, and now he's got a star going down below him. He doesn't know the player's on the left side. He's holding right, and in fact, his gun's even covering the left for him. The timing. How does Obnox have such a good read? The shot's connected for a third cloud, though. Steps it up. A bastion of defense until a nade lands on him. An orbital strike of such a 4K for Obnox to close. To give them the space they need. Give them a bit of information, but not how many players are actually there. And then the tiger is going to get the stun. Oh, it's the pretty. And the dancing back and forth. Obnox is pushing this with one HP. And he's still standing. Oh, that flash coming around wide. Cloud hasn't reacted to it. He's still stood there. Might catch one off. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, my God. Navi, you're still alive. What? Like that pull back the nebula at the start so they can follow up onto the trailblazer. Big. Have some good ideas here to start with. Caspas able to get, get out of here, mate. He did not just peek that with a shorty. He did not. Twisted, what's wrong with you, bro? It's crazy. Oh no. Oh not again! Cloud is just on one at the moment. And well, it's left onto Obnox. Another attempt at a clutch for him. He's even gonna get well a little bit of shorty action himself. Navi fracture? Please. I'll take I'll take an odd fracture. I don't know if I want eleven. I'll just lose my mind for that. Quick dash in. Oh, oh good damage. It's, it's not pretty, but actually Cloud's gonna be the one to come out with the kill. Space has been taken. The spike's still very far away, but it may not matter. It's looking like we might be heading to that third and final map unless there's a play to be had. Twisting, we'll get one. But now it's all on to God B and Na'Vi are going to close this. 18 to 16. They very late play with God B coming up short afterwards. Feels very off pace for Twisting to put that much pressure in. It must have been a misread in some way, shape, or form. And that's a shame. <laughs> the knife used up, remaining. cancels out the drone, Spark and unfortunately it didn't get a tag onto JD. Now he's got plenty of support, <laughs> and Galbi's resorted to tapping kneecaps. It's uh, it's not looking promising. Yeah, go, go, going for the knees. Is and got the control, I guess. They can start the rotate over. You've got a judge kill on short. The Bucky holding B main as Spectre taking down players on the site. Now B putting up an incredible fight against Rifles. God B has lost his armor and most of his health. That reveal lands a shot start right on top of them. These players are so low now. With the spike planted, they try to reposition down below. Opnox now, though, is completely cut off from God B. Both players have to win their respective duels. A weapon upgrade for Dinks J. Maybe a downgrade for the range that he's on. He swings close and pre-fires. Left to Opnox. 60 HP on the back of the site. The drone even reveals him, and now he'll be sprayed from above and pink from below. That is another round for Navi secured. They came in with a ludicrous. The map control lands in the hands of Navi. And they're going to change direction. Oh, JD coming in towards short, and Gobby wins out the duel. Man advantage for the attacking side. And they can feel much more comfortable in slowing the pace of this round if they want to. But another kill comes in. Yeah, now uh, the rounds for them <laughs> to lose, this was not the one I was expecting, but a heavy investment coming through from Big, and I, I definitely think that the surprise factors there, Duno being caught off guard, Cloud has just walked into mid, and you know what? Yeah, he deserved that. <laughs> We're trying to go that little bit further. Got me there to a, a double lurk coming through mid. 
Uh, this very Goodbye much won't be expected. A. At least you would imagine so. It looks like SSK is still around here, though. He's watching the angle. Oh, that's so beautiful. The trade is found. At least Big losing out on so many players. And although the spike is recovered, I think getting this planted is honestly going to be a task. They have a bunch of utility. The drone reveals Twisted. A shock player dart comes down here. onto him. He spammed through the floor and now got beat. He's gone undetected by the looks of things, but they, they know now. He has to cross. He has to be here. And they've cleared it out. And really, this is textbook gameplay from Navi right now. Yeah, and not panicking as well. Like, I think it's very easy when you see, like, the, the quick push through and then the dash into the side to a fast rotate. That was what Big were gambling on. The, had someone like SSK would go running through mid, they'd have a free kill onto him, and then they could challenge onto short. That pace, that rhythm. This time, they've done well in getting towards the site, but it looks like Navi were happy to play that one quite passive. They're going to fight back in after giving up the space. And JD, although he's good for one, he does go down. But there's plenty of players here to pick up the mantle. They know on the back side even has support. And Big have once again just dove head first into a meat grinder. That's 7-1. to one. A second shock dart. There's the lockdown. And the cosmic divide at the same time. Even now more going to be destroyed. It's the fact that JD pops his ult, man. They can't throw through anything to deny that lockdown. They've got to fight instead. They're fighting for a tooth and nail. The fights go to Navi in the end, though. They switch back over to no. Well, he's kind of locked out of that one. He was trying to get his buddy back up. and uh, I think they destroyed it before. He's approaching away, though. They're going to be slow. Yeah, a lot of utility being expended try and fight for control of the tree. It's actually an instant right click. I'm a bit surprised. And JD's already managed to get the trade. Dinks on the side goes down to Twiston though. However, JD still flashing back in. Doesn't expect the second. Got be waiting around the corner and now we'll double back. Rotation. Looking to come through from SSK. And what? What? 30 seconds left. Uh, can you see the barrel? Maybe? Ops very long. I hope I can think he of. could. If, if he couldn't, one then he's remaining. cheating. And we have a problem on our hands. Because <laughs> no yeah, one just randomly been. spams a random corner. That he smoked, by the way. He <laughs> smoked that. So there'd be no reason for him to smoke it and then shoot at his text here. It's the pistol round that they really need. They're on 9-3. And that is, well, the shot that you want to kick this one off. To start it. JD out of the round. And Twiston still putting up numbers. Oh, hello and good night to SSK. The door is closed, but not everybody's made it through. And so locked on the other side, Cloud's not really got a lot to do. This is a uh, pistol round for big, I guess. Oh. <laughs> no. Grab wall. He's going to slow them a second. You're going to have the nade right after. A swing out of Caspa. Okay. Gonna do decent damage there, but a player's made it out and Obnox is isolated. This is gonna cause a lot of panic for Big. 30 seconds left. Oh, the timing. SSK could have had a freebie. Oh, I need could have had another one. And then He's got of a course, shorty kill. Of course, Twist has got another shorty kill. This is now starting to get worrying. Good flash from Obnox. And now this flank coming in from SSK is too late. Uh, Duno's the only one standing on this site. He'll get a plant, but the rest of the players are just going to look to try and push him down. The grab well pulls him away and even leaves him vulnerable. The chances of survival slim to none. And 3 HP. Well, let's call it done. Yeah, that's going to be the round. Nicely collected by Big. Good, wouldn't it? Well, Aslan's certainly a fan of that storyline. He's picked up the first, but he's having a bit of trouble connecting some more. And now they're starting to group up and push out. A few more angles to worry about. The shots eventually land. This man has been alive for some time, but he'll fall eventually. Duno able to grab another spike on sight. Plant secured. Caspa rushing in to try and stop it, but it doesn't look like he's here on time. He's got to catch this 1v2, knowing both players are still towards the left side, but they're lined up and ready to take the frags. A thrifty for now to put them up to so the two players currently surrounding this B site. There's still a lurk on the other side of the map, a really late one at that, and God B's going to try and challenge through. It's twisted. It catches that lurker, but the entries onto the B site are incredibly good. Two kills already. Sneaky push from Aslan, which will take a little bit of extra control, but ultimately they have to wait for that cosmic divide to fade, and Cloud is still going to cause them issues as they try and get back in.
Twistin's still alive. Means there's an up. It means there's definitely a shorty. Oh my god, Aslan! He's winning these fights! Two versus three as we fall on in. The site's under pressure and SSK can't get anything done. Big have bounced right back off B to cover the cross. He's going to back off towards the site because he's got plenty of teammates now. In comes off Nox down. Oh, oh, bowed, and they <laughs> have been collided. Another double shot, a double bounce on the shock dart, I should say. Won't find anybody. And another sheriff shot that kind of leaves us in a scary position, Tom. Uh, don't know what's going to to peek left. into, though. So he, he should never win this against Twisted. I seen him, though. He's caught the pixel. Leaving it down to just a 1v1 scenario, Na'Vi always seemed to get themselves at least one pistol round, a Kalat headshot, and now he's trying to almost go looking for that fight, trying to bait in the big brain of God B, but he's waiting patiently, left. watching the angle, knowing that he's not going for that plant just yet, and God B will now start to spring his trap, trying to find that extra little bit of information, trying to peek him as he goes for the tap! And God B is going to be there in the end to close it out. Damn ultimate to completely destroy that ability. Now, Navi actually way out the Nolkama. The, the, the problem is, there's still going to be abilities on their side to sort of block things out. They're actually going to use a Cosmic Divide, but before it comes up, Aslan's managed to get the kill. So now they've defended it, it forces Big back. It is just spam of ultimates in this round to try and get something over the line. And on the edge, it's going to be Dudo. He actually gets away with two before they can kill him off. Too little, too late. And now Na'Vi will close out the round. Now, No, actually, I thought it's teammate for a second. Oh, no, maybe Casper did a little bit of damage, but not anything with the right home about. The Cloud is not happy about that. Hot flash ready. Oh, it's almost perfect, but Cloud wins that battle as well. The youngster, once again, just taking things into his own hands, looking to try and put 12 on the board. Twisted, fighting A. tooth and nail. And actually, that's the spike down. He goes oh. back for more. Man is feeling cocky at this point, and you can't really blame him. Sat at the top of the scoreboard and bringing big a lifeline. There they are. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't know you could do that. I had no <laughs> idea. Spike <laughs> Okay, well, that's Navi in a 1v1 with Cloud closing it out. Four kills in the end for Navi attack side. And it starts out with Twisted, man. This guy comes in with a triple kill. He's now been shut down. SSK getting his revenge. And the advantage is there's SSK. He's coming with the shorty. Take that, big. <laughs> Feeding them some of their own medicine. Oh. Oh, it's, it's SSK's round. Everybody else is just watching and waiting. I, I'm getting flashbacks to, you know, the Dursley's going, Justice. Like that's, <laughs> that's, that's what springs to mind in this round. Justice. Finally, someone punishes Big with their own weapon of destruction. And while Obnox, one versus five, it is unfortunate. Big had many opportunities, many, many opportunities in the previous map to get themselves their first dub on the board. It comes close once again, but Na'Vi are going to go 